Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I want to show you a new thing that I got. This is yarn from Argentina. It's called Pandagonia AR. Lanas e hilos, hilados. Lanas I know is wool. So this is pure wool or merino. It says it right there. So I am going to attempt to dye it. Um, when I dye yarn, I like to use these writ dyes. And this is purple and black because I want to make a darker scarf for myself for the winter or autumn. And I just have these two. I wanted pink, but I couldn't find the written pink. And sometimes you order these things online and they're more expensive. So these are the perfect colors for my autumn scarf. So I'm going to dye these in this pan. And then I'm going to bring you through the process. So let's do this. And by the way, this I got on Etsy. And I will sh uh, link their shop down below. So in case you want to get some. So when you take the wrapper off one of these hanks, they're called yarn hanks because they're twisted like this because they're easier to just, I guess, wrap and and set up. They when you when you open it up, it looks like this, and they're usually tied like this, holding them together. So it's a pretty big um, hank, and this yarn, I would crochet a 5.5 or even a six millimeter with this size yarn so um it'll be fine it depends if i want a really tight crochet knit i would do a four but i think a 5.5 or a six is better because i kind of like it with kind of the holes a little bit it's not really to like maybe keep me warm 100 percent. it's more of a fashion statement so <laughs> so anyway one of these hangs is going to fit in here so I'm only going to do one because there there's I don't think they're both going to fit in there. So let's let's try this. Yeah, definitely only one of the hanks fits in here. But that's okay. Because then I could do the other one a different color and then blend them. Ooh. See, I'm adventurous with things like this. I paid for this yarn. It's beautiful. It was shipped all the way from Argentina, and I hope I don't destroy it or they they watch this video and they're like, no, don't do it. But anyway, whatever turns out, I'm going to love it and I'm going to wear it and it'll be awesome. It will be awesome. So I was able to kind of squish it in here. So the next step is preparing my dyes, which basically it's water, and then you add the dye to each one each container i i save these leftover containers from my cooking and stuff because they're just perfect like these little things they're just perfect for these type of projects um that way i could just get rid of them you know i could just and this is food coloring so i thought of adding some green in there so we'll see how this is going to turn out i mean the whole thing might just turn black i don't know but anyway anyway we'll see and if you haven't pressed that subscribe button please do so give me the thumbs up share my videos with family and friends youtube loves that and let's get going so i'm gonna take this black and i'm just gonna pour some in here i think that's good i never measure anything even when i cook I've never been the type to measure. So I would say that's about a half a cup each. So before anything, I'm gonna put the lid back on these things because the last thing I want is this spilling and like I'll have to bleach my cow. So we don't want that. <laughs> so while I wait for the water to warm up, because I like to do this with warm water, um, you have to heat up your pan. Some people take this and put it in a giant plastic bowl and put it in the microwave but my microwave is not big enough so what i do is i heat it up on the stove and when it gets to boiling or almost boiling i turn it off i make sure the yarn is submerged and then once it cools off then i rinse it and then we'll see what the color looks like all right so i have my liquids ready here this is the green the black and the purple and i don't know why that's bubbling who knows if i had a drop of soap in there for whatever reason so now i just 
take it and I just start pouring section by section. Like this is the purple. So I just go like this. And then I'll take the black. And then I just start smashing it in, smashing it in. Yeah, this is probably gonna take up more of the black than the purple, but that's okay. Cause they're autumn colors, winter colors, you know? And I think it'll be beautiful. So you see, it starts to drink that water up. It really does. So now I'm going to take the green, and I'm going to pour some in the middle. Definitely more purple over here. And that purple will seep this way, and the black will seep that way, and it will all blend. Well, that's the goal, right? <laughs> Don't worry about any spills. So now I start heating it up. Okay. So I'm heating it up. And I'm going to let this heat up. And then we're going to rinse it. After it's cool though. But right now I'm just going like this. And making sure that all the yarn is submerged. And touching that color. If you have to go like this to get that color in there, do so. Because sometimes they say flip it over, but my gosh, what a mess. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> so there might be some white patches. So let's see. Maybe I'll have to flip it over. <laughs> So I was able to add a little more of the green in the middle and look at my counter. The only thing that gets this out is bleach, which I have some. So I'm just dying to see how this is gonna turn out. It's gonna be so pretty. So if you guys haven't tried dyeing yarn, you know, look up a video, watch mine, and just give it a try. Now, you cannot dye acrylic yarn. Some people have tried, I've watched a lot of videos, and it comes out kind of like, I don't know, like blotchy looking and very pale. Um, you can only do this with natural fibers like wool or merino, you know. It's gotta be real animal fibers. And uh, I don't know, just give it a try and see what happens. It's a lot of fun. So once it starts simmering, like I'm starting to see a little simmer over there, um, you leave it for about a half hour. Never walk away from something like this. I never leave my kitchen. I stay in here. See how it's starting to simmer over there? And then you shut it off and you leave it alone for a bit. So the pans I use to dye the yarn, they're called steamer pans. You could find them in like Sam's Club or kitchen supply stores. I bet Amazon has them. So they're called steamer pans and they just work perfect for stuff like this. This one is not that deep, but you can get some that are like deep, six, seven inches, maybe more. That way you can do like a giant batch of yarn, you know? So look, you can see that they're boiling or bubbling. And I'm just gonna stay here for a little while and just leave it. And so far, so good. So we're still coming along here. I had to turn on the vent because it's, you know, it's pretty hot. So we got about another nine minutes left and then we're gonna turn it off and let it cool. And the reason you let it cool is because the last thing I wanna do is put my hands in that boiling water to start rinsing it. So let it cool. And there's no danger of getting burned. Dying my favorite yarn from Argentina. This yarn is just so beautiful, but I want it in autumn colors. So we got black, purple, and a little green in the middle. So it's gonna turn out gorgeous. All right, so we are here with some cold water. 
Let's pick one up and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh. It is more purple than anything. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. It's lighter in the middle, I guess, where the green was. <gasps> this is so pretty. Oh, look. It just takes the yarn, the dye, so well. Wow. This is just so beautiful. So when it's all rinsed out, I'm going to bring you back so you can look at it. I'm doing this with one hand, guys. Let's look at it right now over here. Oh, wow. That is just so beautiful. Look at this. The black. <gasps> this is going to be such a pretty scarf. I love it. Oh, my gosh, guys. I had to wring it out and set it over here. Look how beautiful that color turned out. And the lighter color is where I used the green food coloring the other stuff is the um what's that stuff called the kit the writ writ and look how it's like black with purple this is gonna be so beautiful so it got tangled a little bit that's why you have to be careful but i know where it's tied and once i um hang it and i can straighten it out and then once i release it i'm probably gonna take every string out little by little and um, so I can put it on my winder. But look how beautiful this is. Definitely autumn colors. Now, I don't know what color I'm gonna do the other one. Maybe I'll do a whole different color, like just to see maybe a, an orange. Oh my gosh, that would be so beautiful. But if you love purple and the dark autumn colors, this is definitely for you. So give it a try, guys, don't be afraid. No matter what it looks like, it's going to be beautiful, and you're going to wear it, and you're going to rock it. So don't be afraid to try. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I'll see you all next time. Take care.